Well, hello and welcome to this ex exercise on uh, uh, di dimensional analysis. Now, this is quite common for GCSE, but not as common in IGCSE, but it does occur now and again. Okay, and I think it's also suitable for your, your 10th grade algebra. Now, we're looking at dimensions here. Uh, there are three types of dimensions, uh, the dimensions for length, dimensions for time, and dimensions for mass. But for this exercise, we're just looking at dimensions for length only. I should do one for time and mass later on. Okay. Right. The trouble with, with time and mass, they, they do not exist on their own. You have to combine mass with time or something. Sorry. Mass with time or uh, time with length as well. Okay. So you combine those two, length and time, and time and mass. But for today, we're looking at just length only. Now... As we said, yeah, uh, the dimensions help us to check if our units are correct or not. Okay, so looking at length only, we can have uh, dimensions in terms of uh, length or perimeter, if you like. Dimension in terms of area, which is give us something squared, or dimension in terms of volume, which give us um, uh, L cubed there. So we've got L or S squared L cubed. Now. Now, suppose somebody drafts a formula and says this formula here, pi over 4ab, is the formula for the volume of an object. Now, clearly that, that is wrong because you got just a times b there, which give you squared there. So, this is a formula for area and certainly not a formula for volume because if you do length times length, that will give you length squared. Now, to help us a bit, oh, the pi and the 4 do not matter at all because those are constants. Okay, what we're concerned about are the variables here, A and B there. Okay, now for some examples here, uh, it says uh, you are asked to derive formula for perimeter area and volume. Now, state which of these expressions are correct for volume, area, perimeter, or none. Now, this is what we've got there. Now, just to help me explain, I've said for this column here that A is equal to B and A is equal to C. So, in effect, we end up with uh, A squared into A plus A. Now, A plus A is 2A. 2A times A squared is 2A cubed. Right. So, because it got cubed there, so this formula is valid for volume. Okay. Remember, I'm saying I'm referring to this here and that one there. Now, this just to help me explain there. So, this formula here is valid for volume. Right. Next, again, if we say a is equal to b, you got two a into a plus a squared. Now, if you open up your brackets, you got two a squared plus two a cubed. Now, you cannot mix up area and volume. The dimensions you got you cannot mix up two dimensions there. All right. So, this formula here. It's not valid for perimeter, not valid for volume, not, not valid for area there. Okay. Now for the next one, again, if we say that a you got a squared, that's a a squared that's a squared give you a to the power four. Okay. So this is not valid in in terms of length. That's not valid at all for any of these. Okay. So I'm referring to this here and not to that. This is just to help me explain. So the answer for this one is going to be none. Now for the next one, we got that pi a into a plus. Now a plus a will give me 2a. Now 2a times a is 2a squared. So I got 2 pi a, sorry. So I got 2 pi a squared here. So this formula will be valid for area. Next up, we've got 2a plus a there. Okay. Now 2a plus a will give me 3a. So this formula should be valid for length. In other words, perimeter there. Right, next one. Again, as before, we've got 2a there for perimeter and a square for area. So this formula is not valid for perimeter, nor is valid for area. And therefore, it, the answer should be not there. Now for the next one, again, to help me explain, I've put... Uh, instead of C, I put A there. Instead of D, I put A there. So and now I've got the A's with cancel as I end up with 2A cubed there, which is similar to this. So this formula here 
is valid for volume. Now for the next one, I got a four a cubed and I got forget, forget the sign there. I got four a cubed and a cubed there. So you got volume, dimension for volume and dimension for volume there. So this is okay. This formula is okay for volume there. So we end up with V there. Now for the next one, we've got pi b or pi a. Now this is one dimension one there, l to the power one there. So in effect, this formula here is valid for measuring length, and in this case, perimeter there. And for the next one, again, we've got uh, a cubed and a squared there. So that's for volume and that's for area. So this, this formula here, it's not valid for perimeter, not valid for volume, and not valid for area. So we end up with none there. Now for the next one, well, we know that volume is length times length times length, which is A times A times A. And we've got B there. If suppose A is, B is equal to A, so we've got A squared there. So A cubed divided by A squared end up with A. So this, this formula here is valid for perimeter. Okay? Or length. Now, this one here, uh, we've got that a plus a is 2a, 2a times a is 2a squared. So this formula here is valid for area. Now I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye now.